What's up everyone, Danny Lightning back with another CSR2 video. So we got a reminder, Pro Leagues is going to be over in a couple of days. Currently it's March 29th and on the 31st, that's either going to be the last day of Pro Leagues or that's going to be the day Pro Leagues is done. We will be going back to the regular showdown and you guys got to remember to spend your tickets. You got Pro Leagues tickets that you can use to buy cars. Let's go into the dealership and see what's available to buy because you got to spend these by the, uh, I think they said the 7th or something like that. So we're going to go look at the cars that are in there. I'll tell you which ones are worth buying. And after that, we'll go talk about a little more information about what's upcoming for the regular showdown that that is going to replace Pro Leagues. So if you go out to the map and you click on Pro Leagues, you're going to click on this little icon over here that shows you the little present. And there we go. Bam. On the left hand side, right underneath me, I'm covering it up. You're going to see your balance. It says I have 55 tickets. So that's how you can figure out how many tickets you have to spend right there. Click on this little thing that looks like a present. All right. And then you can click on the, the showroom right there. And guess what? It's going to take you right into the showroom where you can buy the cars. But that's how you find out your balance on the ticket. So, so the Corvette CR8, this one is definitely worth getting. This is probably my main choice for 150 tokens. It's going to be a car that's really good at a lot of things. I guess there's a low performance point high EVO live racing setup for it, which makes it just do great in live racing. So this one's probably my main choice. To now for 30 tokens, you can get this little Rock Bunny Fair Lady Z, which is really cool. This is definitely worth picking up. 30 tokens. Not too bad. I should say 30 tickets. Definitely get this one and these Corvette if possible. Let's look at the other cars real fast. Victor's Project 7. Oh, that's not Victor's. That's just a Jaguar Project 7. No thanks. I'll pass. Expo. Amazing car, but very, very hard to get parts for. This is probably one of the best ones in there if you can get KTM parts, though. That's the main issue. All right. This AMG. Unfortunately, this looks really cool, but it's not very good. We got the F1 car for 500 tickets, very expensive, probably the second fastest car in the game right now, but the only thing it really has going for it, it's very fast. Besides that, nothing too special, but it is the second fastest car and it's crazy expensive. The Vulcan, cool car, but yeah, nothing too, nothing too crazy exciting. 918 Spider, I've actually heard this is a really good one, but I don't know much about it myself. I've heard a lot of people say they like the Zonda, so a lot of people do recommend this one. I don't know much about this one myself. 488 GT Modificata. Man, I wouldn't go with this one. I wouldn't go with this one. SC18, people say this one's nice. All right. I don't know much about this car myself, but I've heard good things about it. We got the Supras. We got the yellow Supra, and we got this like uh, bluish, greenish, grayish color Supra. I guess this one's really nice for 120 tokens. And then we're back to the Fair Lady Z. So bottom line, I, I really suggest getting this guy or getting this guy. So let's go talk about what's going to happen to Showdown Pro Leagues after it ends. We're still going to have Showdown, which is cool. All right, so let's go ahead and read off some of what's going on with the Pro Leagues, guys. There are some pretty big changes, and it's going to go back to the old school Showdown that we used to have a long time ago. So Pro Leagues ends on the 31st of March, 2022. Once Pro Leagues ends, players will focus on regular Showdown to earn rewards. All right, Rebalance Wards will be introduced to Showdown to ensure players don't miss out on the rewards they currently get from the Pro League. So the reward system is going to be the same, just a little bit different on how we receive the rewards. And the way it used to be, in my opinion, was much better for your average player than the way it is right now. So I think this is going to be a good thing for most people. A few people may disagree, but the average player is going to like this better, I think. So after March 31st, we will not have access to Pro Leagues anymore. I don't know what day the regular showdown is going to come back up on the map and go live, but regular showdown will replace Pro League showdown. All right, there will not be showdown point milestone rewards. There will not be promotions to higher leagues and players will be able to play showdown as usual. There will be showdown trophy milestone rewards as well as participation rewards. So bottom line is you're going to get rewards for the amount of trophies you gain and you're going to get participation awards, meaning 
just for completing a certain amount of races, they're going to give you prizes. And that's the way the old showdown used to be. And I really liked it. Now, here it says on April 7th, 2022, the Pro League's tokens will expire. But any car that you've already bought from the dealership there, we were just going over those cars, you'll be able to keep those. Your cars aren't going to disappear. But if you don't spend your tokens by, the, by April 7th, 2022, those tokens will be gone forever. So get into that dealership there, go to the Pro League section, and spend whatever tokens you have before the 7th, okay? When we go back to the old version of the showdown, it says the, the way they pick the cars is going to be the same. There will be different cars each week. All that good stuff. All right. Nothing's going to change with that, but there won't be any boost cars. Okay. You're not going to get boost points or extra boost cars. So no matter which car you use, it's going to have the same amount of points, right? No more boost. So we got a couple more days and then Pro Leagues will be gone forever. So if showdowns disappear off your map for a couple of days, don't, don't sweat it. Don't worry about it. It will come back. It'll just be the regular showdown. I don't know if it's going to be replaced right away or maybe, maybe it will take them a couple of days. I'm not 100% sure, but instead of Pro Leagues, we're just going to see plain old showdown on the map back to the way it used to be. And I'm going to tell you... All right, I had a lot of experience with the old showdown. So if you guys if you guys are newer players and you've only seen the Pro League showdown, I think you're going to like what they've done. So when we go back to the old version, I'm pretty sure most people will like it. I can't guarantee it, but I've got a feeling most people will like it better. Once they switched over, the majority of people I talked to said, man, this sucks. We don't like this. We hate this. We want the old showdown back. So hey, everybody that I talked to that doesn't like it, you are getting your wish. All right, I think that wraps this up. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. All that good stuff. Maybe check out one of these other videos that pops up on the screen. And thanks for watching. You guys are awesome. If you really want to help your favorite YouTube channels out, always hit that like button and subscribe to their channel. Share their videos with your friends. And if you have the time, watch the videos till the end. YouTube pays attention to all of those stats and those will really help your favorite YouTubers out. Thanks for watching. You guys are awesome.